10 News starts right now. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Getze. Here's looking at your top stories on this Monday. Broward County students officially packing their bags as they head off to school. The 2024 academic year starts today for Broward County. More than 250,000 children getting ready to hit the books. There will be some changes with the new school year. The county adding metal detectors at school entrances also will enforce the ban of the use of cell phones during school. Monroe County starts on Wednesday. Miami-Dade County starts their school year on Thursday. The city of North Miami officially reopening its doors today after a week long closure because of a ransomware attack. Hackers sent a message to recipients working in government offices, threatening to sell sensitive info if they were not paid. The city's mayor telling Local 10 in a statement that he was personally targeted in the attack and not city residents as hackers were targeting his personal accounts. Today, residents are being told they should be able to conduct business as usual. Two people dead, six taken to the hospital after a crash on Sunday in central Broward County. Officials say that crash happened just before 4 p.m. at Northwest 27th Avenue and 6th Street. Video taken by Local 10 shows one of the vehicles flipped over on the road and a number of Broward Sheriff's Office deputies there at the scene. All of these surviving victims are said to be in serious or critical condition. Authorities are now investigating what led up to that crash. And officers pulling a car from a plantation canal on Sunday. That vehicle is apparently linked to a missing persons case dating back about 50 years. Police responded to Wimbledon Lake Drive, where divers and tow truck drivers were at that scene pulling the car from the water. Two of the bodies, those of a woman and a child, were recovered. Investigators say a second car was also found not long after. Police say they do expect to provide updates throughout the day. As breaking news happens, we'll work to keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.